Hi everybody, today we're looking at essential colours to use in mixed media. So you're new to mixed media and you want to buy yourself some paints. Which colours do you buy? Well, obviously the to get a, a good range of colours you want the six uh, main colours, the primaries and the secondaries. Red, blue, green, yellow, orange and purples. Um, this is great if you want to just buy them like this in a tube, ready made to go. That's a good way to start. But if you want to be a bit more adventurous, what you want to do is just buy the primary colours, red, blue and yellow. And mix your own secondary colours of purple, green and orange. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, and I'm going to show you all about colour bias now. Okay, one of the most important things you can buy, a colour wheel. And the basic primaries are the blue, the red and the yellow. And by mixing these together you get the green, the orange and the purple or violet. The problem is there's no such thing as a pure primary. Each colour you buy, not necessarily just a primary, any colour that you buy will have a bias. So for instance, red, this one's cadmium red and um, this one's got what we call an orange bias. So this segment here, which is, as you can see, is red, should really be orangey red on this side, and it should be violety red on this side. And the same with the blue. Cerulean blue has got a green tint to it, and ultramarine blue has a violet tint to it. Hansa yellow has a green tint to it, and cadmium yellow has the orange tint to it. So with this knowledge and six tubes of paint, we can then accurately mix up the right colours. So we want an orangey red to make an orange and an orangey yellow to make the best orange. So if I was to use these two, instead Hansa yellow and quinacridone, you're basically using then almost this colour and this colour because they're right at this end of the spectrum and if you don't know any two colours that you mix which are opposite on the colour wheel will mostly give you um, very dull muddy kind of tones so you always want to avoid mixing opposite sides some people make an art of doing that but in most circumstances it's not what you want to do I'm going to show you a quick demonstration now of this working just so you actually see and understand what I'm talking about in the notes below the video you'll find a link to a PDF which has got information on colour bias so you know which colours to choose if you're buying acrylics or if you're buying watercolours so you can make the right choices. And now I'm going to show you this in effect. So we're going to put this theory to test. Um, I've got a cerulean blue here which is a greeny blue and I'll mix that with a Hansa yellow which is a, a greeny yellow so that should give us a really nice bright green. Then I'll do the same test with the ultramarine blue, which is a, a violety blue, and the cadmium yellow, which is an orangey yellow. So these being on the opposite sides of the spectrum should give us a, a darker brownier, moodier colour, which we don't want. So let's, put, let's try these mixers now. So I think that clearly shows you the difference between using the right two colours and the wrong two colours. Look how much more vibrant this one is than this one. Of course we can make each colour lighter by using more yellow than blue, by doing a slightly different mix. Um, so this one could be even more brighter green. But I think you'll agree that the, the pigments have really been lost in this. Um, maybe you, would, um, you want a dark green, um, but of course you could always make a medium green and add some black to it to make it a darker green as well. So we recommend you to buy these six paints to start with. So we've either got uh, two of each primaries, red, yellow and blue, or we've got the three primaries plus the three secondaries. So you've got a nice uh, so solid set of colours to get you going. Then there's two more colours which I would recommend in your basic starter set. That's titanium white and a black. 
Now we recommend Mars Black, this one's actually bone black, it's a bit of a flatter black, um, it's fine. But basically a white and a black because what you can do then is make each of these colours that you've mixed or straight out of the tube, you can do what's called uh, tinting with a white which makes it lighter or shading by adding, uh, adding the black to make it darker. If it's a bright colour like yellow, you can uh, add more shade to it with black because it's a bright colour to start with. Um, whereas if you had white, you can only lighten it so much and vice versa. If you've got a dark colour like a blue, adding black to it, you'll only go dark so much. Whereas if you had white, you can add a lot more if you understand what I mean. Of course, there's also other things that you may want to consider, um, particular colours that you want to use all the time. Some people love a certain pink, a certain blue. This is one of our favourites, teal. Uh, if there's a paint you're going to use again and again, rather than mixing it every time, then just buy a tube of it. But we advise to buy you know, good quality paints because they're going to last longer, they're going to have better pigments, they're going to be stronger paints. Um, so always buy the best you can afford rather than buy big sets of cheap ones which are questionable quality. So, get yourself a colour wheel, get yourself some of your favourite paints and subscribe to our channel for lots more tips on how to use them.